Hello, so we're back Monday and we have a job here. Look at this laptop, yeah? HP. Check here, yeah? i5 agent, proper nice one. Look here. I mean, this is some kind of uh, probably. Hello, all the laptop is open. Uh, probably some high end from HP. Uh, what do you think? So, check here. Here you have the power button and here you have the charging port. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is coming from a computer shop and uh, laptop repair power supply issue. We don't know what it is, but we can check. So pressing the power button, I have a power button here on one corner and it's not doing anything. Let's plug the charger. So plug in the charger, which is USB-C. The meter is coming on, check here. 4.8 volts. 0 0.8 amps i mean this is weird it's like okay it's not dead but it's kind of dead so it's taking for 800 milliamps and i'm curious what is taking this power so pressing the power button and nothing happened and also it's not negotiating the voltage i mean why is not negotiating the voltage i mean we should have like 19 hmm? So what do you think? The laptop looks like has been open before, you can see here. This is bent also. Uh, I'm assuming because it's coming from a computer shop, so I'll probably already try to fix it. Yeah, so let's open this quickly. It's Monday, it's a beautiful week. And in order to have a good uh, start, you have, you have to have some good jobs on a Monday. I mean, clearly you can have some jobs that can ruin your whole week. But hopefully, uh, this will be a nice one. Good, so the screws are out. And this kind of look like untouch, huh? So can you spot any fault, any problem? I mean, I can't see liquid damage. You have a foil over the motherboard, you can see. Proper nice laptop. I mean, it's kind of slim for two fans. Here we can see some liquid damage. Oh. But even if it's a liquid damage because the board is covered on a foil, you know, it's kind of a low probability to be a liquid damage job. Now, what I'm curious is who is taking 800 milliamps. So I'll plug the charger. And what I will do, I'll disconnect the battery. Yeah? So 800 milliamps, let's disconnect the battery. And the 800 milliamps is not taken by the battery. Yeah? You understand? No, 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 no. Because, you know, you thought, I thought, you know, this power is going into the battery. No, someone, something on this motherboard is taking 800 milliamps. And you have to find out what is taking 800 milliamps. Because that is your problem. What do you think? Okay, it's taking 800 milliamps because the motherboard is on. No, it's not on. No. You'll see fan spinnings and, yeah. Let's grab the thermal camera and let's try to find out what is wrong here. Okay, so the thermal camera is on and wow, check there. Oh, lol, this is so hot, I can't even touch it. But it's not a coil, wait, it's here. Yo, it's so hot. Clearly, it's not on this side of the board because it's exactly here. Yeah, you can see the spot. Look, look here, look there. Yeah, it's exactly here. Lol, it's so hot. Okay, let's unplug the charger. <sighs> what can be that hot? Okay, so let's take the motherboard out. We have to remove the battery first. Okay, the battery is out, and I still can't see liquid damage here. Hey, 
and the motherboard it's out and I can't see anything wrong here so on this here oh here we have that chip so exactly on the Oppo size size yeah here was getting hard right is this chip uh, all these chips okay let's try to understand what's going on here and why that chip is getting hot yeah this is the uh, PD controller and here we have a bunch of MOSFETs good let's go under the microscope and see what chip do we have there okay lol so somebody plays this chip check that you can see the flux Is that actually Rossin? TPA65988 CE, yeah, CE. I don't even have this ship. I ordered like three from Germany. I have a job here. I, I have actually three jobs. And I ordered the last three chips from, uh, from Germany. And it hasn't arrived yet, so we don't even have this chip. Okay, let's check around. Maybe this ship has a reason why it's getting hot, huh? So what's the reason this ship is getting hot? Here we have 37 ohms and here we have zero. So I suppose this is the input. Thirty-seven ohms again. Yeah, I think it has no reason. If I remember, wait, if I remember, here is the 3.3. Okay, so the outputs of this chip are not shorted. So the chip, it is dead. Now, here is, uh, here is a trick with this chip, yeah? Not all this chip, all the chips from this series. 65988 and you have DHD you have DHDJ and C. Now this is a Russian roulette. So you can be lucky you solder the chip and it's getting programmed itself from the from its own BIOS or you have to program the chip. Now I did see a way to program this chip. But actually you can't program. You have to read the old one if you can read it. You know what I mean? But it's insane. I mean, I clearly prefer to give this job as unfixable if I'm replacing the chip and it's still not working. So let's replace this chip. I do have uh, I do have a, a second hand chip here. Okay, so the chip has been removed. Does the old chip? Hopefully, you'll never have to replace this chip. I'm curious, uh, same like you, to see if it's working. So I'll replace this chip with another one. Second hand, yeah, with this one. Let me lower the temperature because I don't want to burn this chip. Good, let me use some flux. So the chip is soldered on place. It will be working. I don't know what to say, you know. But Let's cool down the board quickly.
Do we still have 37 ohms? No. No, all good. All good, yeah? All good. So I'm gonna get the charger. And let's see if my board is negotiating the voltage. So you're ready? Let's plug the charger. It's working, I can't believe it. Let's see, speaking with my charger, 19 volts. Ha! Huh? It's working, insane. That, that doesn't mean the motherboard is good, yeah? It doesn't mean that. Let's check the voltage. Let's see the voltage on the chip. Do we have 1.8? Do we have 3.3? Do we have any output from this chip? So here we have 5 volts. Okay. We have 2.9 volts here. Here we have 5 volts. And 1.8 should be here somewhere. Yeah, 1.797. You can see on the screen. Okay, so the voltages are, uh, are right. And the output, the output is here. We have output, 19.9. This is the main power rail. Okay, so it's not the same, but it's close. So the VBUS is... This is VBUS 2. And VBUS 1, where it is? is here 13 14 and 1 2 so here is not 1 2 it's 1 is 2 3 and this one okay so is this one this is the v bus and we are getting <coughs> so the v bus is 19 okay so this is actually the input and the output is here. Yeah, it's 19.9. Yeah? After the whole bunch of MOSFETs, uh, we have the output. So basically, here is the input. And then you have, <laughs> yeah, like pairs of MOSFETs. And here is the output. So why do you have pairs? You have pairs because you have two USB-Cs. Yeah? So one chain... One chain is for one USB-C, and the other chain is for the other USB-C. Now, on the port I plugged uh, right now, we have input here, 19. Obviously, on the other one, is no input, because I can swap. I can swap the, the charger. And here is the output. So, basically, you have two MOSFETs. Like, usually, you have the input MOSFETs, two MOSFETs. And then you have a separation MOSFET to prevent voltage goes on the other way. And then you have your main power rail. Okay, good, great, fantastic. Now let's check to see if this board is working. Just because we replaced the chip and everything looks fine, that doesn't mean it's fine. Let's put back the foil. The foil is back. Let me bring the laptop. Now my concern is the board hasn't started why the board didn't start. I mean, obviously, without the battery, it's no other BIOS battery. So I was expecting, you know, for this motherboard to start as soon as we are plugging the charge. But who knows? Maybe it will start. We're going to see now. Oh, who the f*** designed this laptop? F shit. Fucking HP. Now what the fuck? I can't put it back. I can't. I I don't understand the logic. Uh, maybe I should stop the video and watch how I take the how I took the board out. Well, doesn't have any logic. The motherboard is bigger compared with the frame, which is insane. I mean, they are expecting to bend the motherboard or what? It's bigger. I mean. Crazy. No, if I if I start from this side, 
You think if I'll start from that side, it's not bigger? It is. It is. No, this is supposed to be bent, this motherboard. Yeah, if I bend it, yeah, it's fine. <sighs> Okay, let's see if it's working. So we have 19 volts, pressing the power button. It's coming on, I can't believe. So we have 600 milliamps on the charger. Check the 700 milliamps. Let's see if we have picture. Oh. Huh? One amp, I can see one amp. It's working, I can't believe it's working. Enter reboot the system. Ha ha, it's working. So one more test I want to do is plug the battery and see if it's charging. It's kind of important to see if it's charging. So we have 0 0.1, let's see if it's going up. Yeah, we have 2.2 amps, you can see that. I can't believe actually it worked. But I did replace this chip um, on different laptops and it didn't work. So I knew for sure, you know, I have this chip faulty. And it didn't work, it will not speak with the charger and there's nothing what you can do. Programming the chip, I don't know. I don't even. I don't know how to program. And from what I uh, seen, it's extremely complicated. And also, the old chip has to be good. Yeah. I mean, it has to be good. It has to be. You know. Okay, it's short. It is getting hot. But you should be able to access the chip and read the chip in order to program it. Okay, 2.2 amps, so all is good, all is working fine. Uh, I'm gonna stop now. I will put it all back together. Yeah, I have to find out a way, or I have to find out uh, uh, somehow to stick this cable. The power button is working, but you remember when I took the sticker, uh, the, the black plate comes out, The you know, I mean, those are so poor. I mean, I just took the sticker out and the thingy comes out. But it's still working. It's still working. You know, this black thingy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stop now. If you have to replace this chip, if you have to replace this chip, you play twice the Russian roulette, yeah? One, buying the chip, because if it's not working, you don't know, maybe the chip is dead, or maybe the chip has to be programmed. Uh, some uh, chips, they are getting programmed by, uh, you should have a BIOS. Uh, you should have a BIOS, so this is the main BIOS, yeah? And probably this is another BIOS chip with the Thunderbolt uh, firmware and also with the PD controller firmware, yeah. Well, you replace the chip, you don't know if the chip is good, and then uh, you ask yourself, maybe I bought a faulty chip. Or maybe the chip is good and actually has to be programmed because you will not get programmed itself. Tricky, tricky. Okay, so I'm gonna stop now. I'll say thank you for watching. Hopefully you have a beautiful week. And uh, don't forget to press the, you know, like button, subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye.